So could you introduce right, yourself? Right, Heskip Benoit, um, known as, in a sense, an educationalist for many years in the borough, over 35 years at Cornell, which was originally Tottenham College, but originally one of the colleges that Bernie Grant found that started me off as a lecturer in the college for many years, which was Haringey College. And um, just recently, last year, about this time, I thought I said enough is enough. I weren't happy with the likes of how they were educating our young black people and looking at more sort of bums on seats in regards to, you know, a proper education, a proper career, a proper job from at the end of, you know, teaching for so many years. You know, I can't say that um, all the way through, you know, I haven't had young people go out and, you know, become and get their qualifications as high as degree level. You know, young people that I've taught and got job, but there's a lot more which I feel which are uh, in the community which are not from a school age, not getting educated properly. And I feel that, you know, as a com on the community activist side, that, you know, there's not enough centres like this which are doing the background work, working with parents, working with teachers, working with other educationists to make sure that, you know, some of the stuff that's needed in terms of engagement in the schools is happening. Um, and I feel that, you know, I've known Lord Morrison Centre for many years. As a young person, I think I actually held um, you know, sort of fashion shows here back in the day. I'm talking about, ooh, at least 20, 30 years ago even, you know, and um, worked alongside of getting a venue to use because you couldn't go and use other venues um, to hold little promotions and get young people, you know, listening to music and just engaging with each other. And young black people it was really because you know, a young man like me couldn't go and hire a hall as easy as I wanted to. So that's why I'm here today in support of the Lord Morrison Hall. That I know they do a lot of work with young people, a lot of enrichment work, which gives our young people confidence to hit education, to hit the working environment. And at a young age, that confidence is needed with our people to, you know, to look at, you know, other um, ethnic groups, be it that or the white European in their eyes and say, well, you know, I'm ready because I'm confident that I've got the education, I've got the skills which is needed for me to move forward. Um, and that's what I feel, I feel now, you know, you know, in regards, I've been talking to some of the elders in there, some of our politicians have let us down, some of our people in the council and at higher level, you know, have let us down in regards to where we're going to go. You know, our centres day by day, you know, being lost and, you know, I think they're taking the, the, the black organisations for granted, they're taking us for like, you know, that they're going to get our votes day in, day out and, you know, no longer that they need to, we need to have provision. Unfortunately, I say it, that, you know, time is time, you know, we should have, you know, we shouldn't have been sort of going to their whim now. We should have our own buildings, our own freehold buildings that we dictate what happens in our buildings. Um, um, you know, We've got to mobilise, you know, part of the meeting today is, you know, I'm meeting people there that I haven't met for a while and we're talking about mobilising where our vote's going to go. In 2014, we have a shake-up again of councillors and what have you. I think we've got to mobilise the young vote, the young black vote, and get some, get some, some, some young politicians hearing our, 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 our cry in terms of what we need to make our community um, develop and go forward. And John Loughborough, we've got, we got John Loughborough, which... You know, I remember when that opened as a, as a, as a seven-day event in school, but, you know, targeting black um, young people in terms of education, and it was flying high. The council hated it to know that we've got an independent school as black people. I know that because, as I said, I'm in education. I've been in FE education and school for many years, and I could feel that, you know, uh, you know, in terms of helping them go forward positively and things that they needed to, Certain times I don't think the council did and the council was waiting for the day that, you know, that school would go back to them. I think it has gone back to them now. As, a, as It's no longer an independent school. And, um, you know, I felt the council at times gave them a hard time in regards to what they have to do to make it become a flagship school for the borough. Um, because even of the years that when, um, when John Loughborough started, I used to have students come from John Loughborough in the early years to the college. And you know, you know, their, their, their basic skills were great. You know, I know because I used to teach engineering and I, I asked them, what school you come from? And then John Loughran, I could see an element of discipline in terms of education that they were doing outshining some of the, um, you know, borough schools. And I thought, wow, all right, let the school keep going and you know, we're gonna get a good 
turnover of young black people that are, you know, got that basic maths, English and science skills to take them forward to anything. And then obviously, in regards of appointments and the schools and the school and the funding, you know, things that, you know, I think politically, was charged that the school weren't going ahead as, as full as it should have done. And then we got, you know, we got we got the Afro Caribbean Centre over at Turnpike Lane, and we've got Chestnuts. We've got the the, the, the actual Wellborn Centre, being targeted for you know shutdown. They're pulling the rug from underneath our feet. And what you need, you need a base to get anything going. You need bases. We know we need bases to actually take our people forward. To, 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 to keep a hold. And you know, I know the church does quite well, but outside the church, we need these community centres to direct our young people to go to build the confidence, the encouragement in terms of education for us to get our stepping stone and start going all the way up. Um, and as I said, there's small rooms, you know, because the gone of the days, we can't meet in our front rooms anymore to get the numbers. Yeah. You know, we've done that. You know, when mum and dad, my parents came over to link together, they were in front rooms organising helping what to do on a daily basis to, to, to sort of go forward. Um, but you know, we've outgrown that now. We need our centres, we need our place, we need our bases to actually um, develop our community further. Thank you, Bob.